Um, hey, we've had, some, uh, we've had some great panels, we've had some great speakers, uh, but we're not done yet. Uh, this afternoon, there will be two rounds of breakout sessions. In the first, innovators and executives in 12 Oregon industries will talk about their companies, the health of their industries, uh, what it's like to compete globally, uh, what Oregon can do to support the growth of the industry. In the second round of our breakouts, uh, business and political leaders will discuss ideas to improve Oregon's climate for business and job growth. Those sessions will focus on opportunities to improve the four P's for prosperity, people, place, pioneering in innovation, and productivity. At, at 5 o'clock, we'll re reconvene in the lobby for a reception. You are all invited. We'd love to see you there. And so before we finish from this stage, really two things uh, yet to do. One uh, is to thank a whole lot of people. And then I have, uh, I have a favor to ask uh, of all of you, something that you can do to help. Uh, first of all, though, let's, uh, let's thank our sponsors. Uh, you can see their brands on the screens. Uh, here you can also see them on the back of the playbook. As you can tell, this, uh, this event takes a ton of work to put on, and we couldn't do it without them. I'd like to particularly thank our Level 1 sponsors, OHSU, Business Oregon, Regents, Schnitzer Steel Products, Portland General Electric, and Pacific Power. I'd also like to thank Henry V. Events for their fantastic, fa fantastic work producing this event. This is a spectacular Oregon company that produces events for Fortune 500 companies, across the U.S. I'd like also to thank the staff of the Oregon Business Council for organizing this event. Duncan Wise, Jeremy Rogers, John uh, Sever... Uh, John, I apologize, I always trip over this. Sverikovic, Sve thank you. That's almost as bad as writing. Uh, Robin Minto, Lauren Mormon, Elizabeth Redman. A lot of work that you have seen here today is a result of Excellent work also by our policy consultants. Uh, Denise uh, Hansel of health, uh, on health care. John Taponia with Eco Northwest on budgeting and education. I'd like to thank all of our speakers and panelists who took time out of their busy schedules to be with us here today. Uh, I'd like to thank the team at Oregon Solutions and the National Policy Consensus Center for coordinating this morning's regional breakout sessions, which uh, I, I hope... Uh, will be an ongoing uh, thing here at the Oregon Business uh, Plan uh, uh, Summit. Uh, thanks also to our 12 outstanding volunteer high school students from reaching and empowering all people. Uh, REAP connects high school students with opportunities in business, civic, and education leadership. So we've had some really good discussions today, today about new strategies for addressing our economic challenges. And now I'd like to share an additional hands-on way that all of you can help bring additional revenue and job creation to our region. The Oregon Convention Center is a major economic driver for the region, as, one, as well as one of the first LEED certified convention centers in the country. Uh, they put uh, Oregon out in front as a leading green meetings destination. Last year, meetings and conventions in Portland generated $3.8 billion in spending by visitors to our region supporting 28,500 jobs. But that business doesn't happen by accident. It takes active recruitment, and with your help, we can bring more of those jobs here. Most of you attend professional industry and association meetings and conventions around the country, uh, sometimes around the world. Let's bring those meetings and convention dollars home to Oregon. Wherever you are in the state, let your local destination marketing organization know about these opportunities. Now, here in Portland, the DMO is Travel Portland. Uh, they can do all the legwork necessary to bring those events home to Oregon, all free of charge. Same with the DMOs in the other regions of the state. There's a card on your table for more information, or you can go to the URL on the screen. So let's, uh, let's all work together to bring this, this business home. And finally, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the leadership and collaborative work of our Oregon business community. The Oregon Business Plan reflects the work of our business associations and chambers across the state, as well as individual business leaders. Our associations and chambers are well represented on the Oregon Business Plan Steering Committee, 
uh, through organizational chairs and top executives. Uh, you can see their names on the inside cover of your policy playbook. So I'd like, uh, I'd like for them to stand, if they would, right now, so you can see who they are uh, in person. Okay, that's the end of uh, our program uh, from this stage. We'll look forward to seeing you in the breakout sessions and again back here at 5 o'clock for the reception. Thanks so much.